What's up folks, it's your boy Ramon, Lifestyles Defined, and I'm here with the Roku 3. Wow, that's what I'm going to say about this thing. Wow, what a wonderful device. Now, the basis behind Roku is it's a streaming, a streaming device. So that means you've got things like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, Amazon. That's where the bread and butter of this thing is. It allows you to connect to, to your, your different subscription services and stream your video right over. But things are different this time around. It's not only video. I mean, you there's a Dropbox app. And I haven't tried it because I don't have a Dropbox account. I use SkyDrive. But I would imagine you can stream your pictures. There's there's tons of of uh, available content in the category just for photos. Um, there's a ton of podcasting channels, and that's basically how everything works. Everything's a channel, so I don't I have no idea what popcorn is. I gotta try that out. Uh, you see over the side, iHeartRadio, so you can get you know, and there's Pandora. You can get your music stuff. Now, here's what's important to me. Or at least what I found. So I've got my Netflix, my Hulu, Amazon, obviously, and HBO Go. These are my go-to services for all of my movies and, and my shows and whatnot. Every day, I'm watching one of these. Every single day. Um, I've got Twit, Lovely, Laporte, Paul Therott, You know, these I watch the Twit episodes religiously every week. IGN, no introduction needed there. Revision 3's Boy Sessler and his crew. Patrick Norton like this is good stuff people and even there's a news I, I, I browse through it very very uh, quickly and for somebody like me who does not have um, cable it's good to have an outlet to at least see what's going on now in the channels themselves I, I gotta say they did a really good job at at making sure everything had a nice look across the board um, this will probably remind you more so of the the PS3 slash web layout of um, <clears throat> of Hulu. Very familiar. Yes, that is Grey's Anatomy. You should probably get up on that. Very familiar. Um, I I can't say I've had any issues navigating anything. This thing was as smooth as butter, and I'll talk about the performance in a minute. Uh, when when it comes to navigating it you know that leads me to the remote and it's not a traditional remote it's a very wii u type of deal um that same wand it even comes with the the little the little lanyard lanyard what lanyard what do you call it, i think that wraps around your hand and just in case you want to start flinging it at the tv you don't break it so right now you see me i'm i'm playing angry birds and it works just like you would it would work on a wii so did i just miss everything what the hell was that how did i miss everything yeah so angry birds is as stupid on the roku 3 as it is on everything else but big deal i don't care what it is you put angry birds on it people will be attracted to it <laughs> that's just real talk um there's the nba i don't watch sports but I kind of like that when somebody comes over and they see NBA, they'll assume that I'm cool. But yeah, um, <clears throat> you're looking at the content now. There's a, in the, like I said, everything's channels. Look at the categories and how populated they are. It's so amazing. Look at games. These are games you can download and play on this thing. And then there's like music. It's, it's amazing. I, I was taken back by, by how much is here. And from, from what I've understand, I've been watching Roku mature for a while now. And they've this is they've really worked on their the channels and, and the content they offer. It's almost endless. There's so much here to watch and so much to subscribe to. Like you can get lost. And I'm willing to bet, depending on who you talk to, this stuff is probably more relevant than anything you can find on cable. And and very the the interface alone which is a big feature of roku 3 <laughs> looks a lot better than any cable box i've seen so yeah um to touch on the performance you can see i've been flipping back and forth back and forth um on the remote itself there's two buttons there's a back and there's a home button that's pretty much what you'll be doing most of the time works fine i mean you can go into something and hit the home button look at that 
scroll down search home button it's very responsive and they did talk about you know it had a new processor so on and so forth and listen this thing's not gonna outperform your galaxy your galaxy s4 or you know it's it's not gonna put up pc benchmarks but for what it does it, it handles the the interface very nicely and, and, and it's it's just a really good experience i i can say the performance and and the user interface all all goes well together now search here's a big feature uh and something i was quite frankly fairly impressed on and I, it's going to be kind of hard to use anything else going forward so right now i just search for brad and brad pitt was probably high on the uh high on that list and here he is now what roku does is it searches it gives me anything brad pitt across any channels or services that they offer that is so dope why because i don't care all i want to know is a movie i want this movie right now where can i get it and you can see off on the side i can rent it on voodoo it's on amazon or it's on blockbuster now this is something that me and Tawan, we had a very lengthy video on. And I'm still working. I'm going to upload that. I'm going to link you guys to that video because I really want you guys to watch it. Is subscription versus, you know, paid media. And like, okay, so Legends of the Falls available for streaming on Netflix. Cool. But I have to pay for it on Hulu. That's not a, on, on Amazon. It, it kind of sucks that some things you can stream, some you can't. And there's, there's so much politics behind it. But that's off on a tangent. I I really love this search feature. I can't tell you how dope this is. And I wish more people would. I wish Microsoft and Sony would fall in line with this. This is so awesome. And without doubt, one of the best, if not the best feature of this Roku, it's your content is what makes this device special. And they've got a ton of it. Now, what they've done is made it easy for you to get to whatever content it is you want. Perfect. They've really unified how you search across the channels. I, I can't say enough about that. Really good job. Really impressed with that. Um, one thing talking content that's really missing sorely missing is youtube and you know you're watching this video on youtube and there's no youtube app so huh go figure uh i i'm not terribly upset at them about that i i don't know why it is i'm pretty sure you know google has their reasons and maybe roku's not big enough i wish they would pull it in though um that would be that would make this a hundred percent complete but um the, the the other downside to it very very minor depending on who you ask minor to me but some people may not feel this way so roku 3 supports uh usb media and i actually tried this feature i tried it three times and it never worked it never even picked up like three thumbsticks i tried and i did a i did a brief a brief search online and people are actually complaining about this so it's not just me so hopefully they find a way to fix this soon but you're supposed to be able to to actually play you know your movies mp4s and and even mkvs and and presumably pictures and music from a media a usb media device which is really cool you know you figure this thing is in your living room that's so awesome you can just plug something up a friend comes over what would be even more awesome is if they found a way to to really give us like an uh like airplay or xbox smart glass something of that nature we're using the dlna technology where we can just wirelessly stream media to the device and i get it it it's it may be a little a little overkill for something like the roku 3 because this does come in at 99 dollars, and it already does an incredible amount of things for 99 dollars so i'm willing to forgive forgive my wish list and the fact that it doesn't have youtube and the fact that that usb media thing doesn't work now one of the things you'll see is here we have the ability to do a system update so i'm gonna i'm gonna give them a bligh because i feel like we'll get that update any day any any day now uh one thing to note when you get your roku just go over to to display type and change that to 1080p mine was set to 720 so i barely caught that and put it on surround obviously but yeah um 
what's interesting about this device, this changes the way I stream my media. Because currently, I'm a big console guy. Mainly my Xbox is where I get all, I consume my media. Sometimes my PlayStation if I'm watching MKVs. Had that MKV feature worked or had they had a, a, a way to some sort of some sort of way to, to read my media center, my media server, the Roku would have come out ahead. But for now, the Roku takes the cake when it comes to streaming media from services. I'm going to stick with the Roku on this, meaning I'm not going to use my Xbox to watch Netflix or Hulu. And that's big because that's what I've been doing for years. So it's interesting to see Microsoft and Sony fighting for the living room and out comes this $99 device and then boom, you're done. Not entirely, but they're working on it. So I, I kind of like this. Um, I recommend this product from a one to a five, a five being the best. The Roku three gets a five from me. I, I can't $99 and I'm buying two of these things for my parents because they're, you know, They've expressed their frustrations with the cable companies to me lately with, you know, the bill and nothing ever being on to watch. And I'm going to get these two of these Roku's for them. I'm going to set it up and give them access to my Hulu and my Netflix. And I'm interested to see if they actually cut the cord. But yeah, hit me in the comments, folks. If you bought one, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And I know that YouTube is going <laughs> to, that YouTube's going to stick out. But yeah, hit me in the comments. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, you know, we always answer questions over here. Uh, anything you want to see in particular, I don't mind doing any short videos for you guys. I love you guys, man. So yeah, like the video if you like it. Subscribe, comment. It's Ramon. Lifestyles defined. I'm out of here. Peace. This is something new, I'm being told. This is some sort of carbon fiber-ish look. And it plays all the way under, comes all the way over. Like a, a nice circle on the bottom of the shoe. I do like the way this looks, though. Let me tell you. I think that's dope as hell. And the design on the bottom, again, you got the penny logo here. And the sole itself is, is sort of perforated. What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Ramon. And I want to introduce you to lifestylesdefined.com. We offer everything you could ever love in life. And when I say everything, I mean everything. We're talking fashion, the latest in bags, sneakers, shoes, watches. We're talking technology, right down to the newest gadgets, and even sometimes a little more geeky than that, entertainment keep you up on the latest with reviews music and of course you can't forget the gaming and so much more whenever you get a chance make sure you check out lifestylesdefined.com